How's it going guys? I'm going to show you how to work the new J-Fly here. We're starting up front, you got propane here, you got about five gallons in each. It's either all the way open or all the way closed when you're using them. Lefty, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Right in the center, you have an arrow facing you right now. This is the regulator. So right now it'll be drawing from this tank first. I recommend one open, one closed, so you know you have backup. Just flop the arrow whenever you're done using it, or whenever one drains. Um, right behind it, you have your deep cycle maintenance free battery. This little gauge is gonna tell you what bubble, or basically where the battery's at. Uh, when you're plugged into 30 amp or into your truck, it will be charging. Other than that, this is more or less just gonna run everything simple as the lights, slide, water pump, small stuff like that. Um, down below, right here, if you're doing a lot of off-grid camping, you can uh, get a portable sun, oh, solar panel, there we go. Get a portable solar panel, and that's gonna be able to charge your battery if you're off-grid. Heading this way, this is gonna be one of the pass-throughs to your storage in there. Keep in mind, you can get through underneath the bed in there, so just keep this locked up. This is the gas line that will be for the outdoor stove top in the back on the other side. It's a quick disconnect on either side. This is going to be the manual crank for your stabilizing jacks, which are on all four corners. That is a three quarter inch socket, so if you have a drill in the attachment, just bring that along. Um, these are for stabilizing. Don't try and change the tire or anything like that. Just get them down to the ground and snug them up and get like a piece of wood under there so they're not sitting in the mud. That's pretty much it there. Heading this way. Uh, here with your slide down below, you got these rails with some teeth on the bottom, and then you got the rubber seals on the side. Basically, once every few months, spray those down with a dry-based silicone spray, loop them up, or depending on how rough they're going in and out on you. And back here. Starting at the top, you got your outdoor shower, hot and cold, simple as that. And then down below, that will be your city water connection. You'll uh, screw in the regular size garden hose there, and that is what is going to pressurize all the water lines without filling the tank. So if you're at home or at a full hookup campsite, I would use that instead of filling the tank itself. Down below, if you ever get confused, follow your stickers. But these two lines here, you got a red and a blue one with the black valve. Those are the low point drains going throughout the underbelly. So every line going to the sink, shower, toilet, all that stuff. That is how you drain that completely. And then once again, you got your stickers. So black is going to be the nasty toilet water, which is right here. And all you gotta do is pull that to open it, push it into close, and gray water is going to be all the soapy water and then toilet water. And you'll just have a sewer hose that we give you in there and that'll screw in place right there. If you're at a full hookup campsite and they have a satellite or whatever to offer, you'll plug it in here and that will give you the channels throughout the inside. This is where we store just that standard sewer hose for you. I do recommend upgrading. Regardless, that'll be great to get you started or have as backup. Up top, we have a spot for a backup camera if that's something you end up wanting to get it's a furion product just take off that faceplate plug it in screw it back in place and then the monitor sits in the vehicle as long as you have your running lights on you'll be able to the camera the whole time um, this is your cord you got roughly 30 feet of that and that's just going to feed in and out it's kind of difficult but it'll go in and out water here. It's both gas and electric. Priority one is getting water in the tank before you turn it on. Um, one way of doing that is once water's in there, if you're on city water, just turn on the faucet. If you're on fresh tank, turn on the pump. If it spits water out when it, right here, when you pull the depressurizing valve, it means that there's water in there. Go ahead and turn it on. And then if it's wa water does not come out when you pull that, it's hissing at you like a cat. Don't turn it on because there's no water in there. One way of getting water in the tank is pressurizing whatever water you're using. Go in the bathroom, turn on both sides of the faucet. When it stops making noise at you, you should be able to come out here and check that and it should be filled for you. But once you know you have water in the tank, it's just a push of a button for either or on the inside, um, gas or electric. And then right at the bottom here, that is your drain for the water heater. That is a 15, 16 socket. And like I said, that's how you drain the water heater itself. Heading this way, 
your fridge here. This is just, you know, a basic fridge. So if you aren't plugged into your actual 30 amp power cord, this will not run. Uh, and then you do have a dial up in the top left corner to give you the, if you don't want it on, you can shut it off or get it colder. Uh, that gas light up front is going to be for this stove top. So right here, it's gonna plug in right at the bottom. And then it'll funnel down to right here. So when you unplug this, you get your valve perpendicular with the line. You can unlock and plug in your gas line. When it's in there, you're gonna to wanna to flip that back into place. It'll lock it in place and then give you gas flow. So if you're wondering why it's not lit, make sure that that is parallel with the line. And so you will need a lighter for this. Just turn it to the light here once you're plugged in on the gas line and take your flame to it. Outdoor sink, hot and cold, simple as that. We do have a little plug in for it. Just make sure you take it out so you're not flooding it. Uh, right here with your awning, it's only gonna work when it's fully extended, but on both sides, they're gonna be the exact same. Right here, there's a little elbow that you can yank down. So if it's a light rainy day or the sun's in your eyes, pull those down and it'll droop one way or the other. Before you reel it in though, just get these roughly back to their same spot. Um, and then looking at the awning, you see how it's white whenever it starts to roll out. That's normal and it's black whenever it's going to be completely on the wall. If it's white whenever it's on the wall, it's going to be inside out and it'll hold water at the top, so just redo it. And then my suggestion to you is if you aren't using the awning, physically sitting underneath it, roll it in. All it takes is that one bad gust of wind and there goes your awning. And then you do have speakers on both sides at the top, which will be controlled from the inside. And then right here, this will be the back of your fridge. You'll probably never have to get behind here, but just so you know what's going on. It is both gas and electric. So right now I have it on auto mode. We're plugged in so it knows it needs to run on electric. As long as you have propane open in the front and if you were to lose power for whatever reason coming unplugged, the little burner is gonna be right here behind this window. So you can double check that to make sure it lit on gas. And then right below it, you do have your furnace. That's where all the hot air comes out, so be careful what you leave in front of that. Up top, you have your stovetop vent. There's these two plastic clips up there that's just gonna let you pop it open or close. Make sure it's closed when you're done using it so nothing's crawling in on you. That is where you fill the fresh tank. So if you use this, this is usually when you're going off grid or on the road for a while, you will have to use the water pump, which I'll show you inside. It's just a push of a button. And then right down below, follow your stickers again. This white valve here is going to be how you drain the fresh tank. So if you fill it, that's where it drains. And these two white lines hanging down, basically when the tank is filled and it's gonna start shooting water out here, letting you know to shut the water off. And then if you wanna bring a TV along, they do give you a mount from the factory. Just make sure the TV fits that mount and you can take it inside or out. And it'll all plug in right here, just like at home. And other than that, it's pretty much it on the outside. So you know how to work the stairs, you just fold them in, push it on in, and when you're done, pull it out, hold it out. And that's the outside, and we'll work our way in.